The Find and Replace option in Excel is very similar to Find and Replace in Word. There are however some key differences so it's important to understand how they work. So firstly where it is under the Home tab you'll see Find and Select and you can either choose Find or Replace. If I choose Replace the Find option is also there or Replace. Now as with Word we can specify what we want to find and what we want to replace it with. You just need to be a little bit careful how it works. As you can see here I've clicked on one cell. If I do a find then what it will do is look in the entire spreadsheet. If however I highlight a section then when I do a find what it's going to do is only look in that section. So that's quite important because occasionally you may do a find where you actually mean to only change maybe over here and what will happen is you actually change more than what you expect. So let's say I'm now going to click on that, I've clicked on that cell there. What I want to do is replace this SP with the word salesperson. It's no problem, I'll go to a find and I'm going to say find SP and replace it with the word salesperson and a space. I can then choose to either go through it individually, so I can say find next and replace, or I can do a replace all, so let's do a replace all, and when I click on it, you'll see it's done 27 replace, pla replacements. You'll see this looks like it's correct, but did you notice that these here, what they previously said was special, and because SP starts special, it's actually replaced that. So that's why it's important, I'm just going to undo, is if you're going to do something like this, the safest thing to do is to specify where it should happen. So for example I can highlight that and now when I say replace all you'll see it only happens here and it doesn't affect those over there. The benefit of find replace in Excel is that it can actually be used to clean a little bit of data. So for example can you see here we've got a whole bunch of numbers and yet when we add them up there's a sum there you can see it's adding that up. It tells us it's zero. The reason it's zero is because my computer expects decimals to have a full stop and these seem to have commas. So if that's a problem for you, you can quickly, let's highlight that section, and I'm going to say please Excel find, I'm going to put a comma there, and replace it with, and I'm going to put a full stop. So when I click replace all, what will happen is all the commas will be replaced with the full stops. Let's do it. And you'll see then Excel recognizes, oh this is a number, makes it a number, and then you'll see our sums work. So find replace can be used to replace words, the traditional word way, but it's also very useful when it comes to cleaning stuff, where Excel is not happy with something you've entered and you need to replace it quickly. If you look at the screen as well, you'll notice that there's an Options button. Now when we click Options, you'll see a whole bunch of new items appear. So firstly, if you notice, at the moment it says it's going to do this Find Replace within the sheet. If I choose this, then it only looks in the sheet and it only looks in any highlighted area. However, if I choose Workbook, then what it'll do is it'll look for whatever you're trying to do in the entire workbook, ignoring the highlighted area. So if I accidentally chose workbook, every single comma in the entire spreadsheet would change to a full stop. So just be a little bit careful about that, but there are some clever uses for it. You can see as well, you can specify how it should search. So this just drives, when I say find next, does it go left to right or does it go up and down? And quite useful, you can specify whether you want it to look in formulas or in some cases in the actual underlying value. You'll see as well, you have the ability to actually search for formats and change the formats. So these are all the various options you have. Another thing you may notice is you've got a find all or find next option. And this can be quite useful. So let's now find so I'm going to actually 
search for the word salesperson, which we can see is over here. And for now, I'm not going to put anything to replace. I just want to search for it. So I could actually go here or here. If I say to find next, you'll see that it goes to the next time it finds it. What can be useful is if I click find all, you'll see it then tells me, and I can make this a bit bigger, all the cells that have it. And I can now navigate through them just by clicking on the cell. So that's quite useful because you can quickly see all the items you're looking for. We can go back to find next or we can close it. And that's how you can actually control and make changes to vast amounts of spreadsheets in the workbook or sheet with limited effort. But just be careful, just keep in mind that when you make a change, everything changes.